All right. I am here joined today by a close friend and also fellow content creator of mine, Ethan, better known online as Dank Corpse. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, what's up? Um, I'm here to watch the downfall of one of my favorite YouTubers, or, well, really childhood idols. Same. Right. Um, the reason uh, why I yeah. brought my boy Ethan here is because, of course, he's very funny and we bounce off each other well, but also because we both have one thing in common. It's that we both had a phase in our... Uh, our Welcome young childhoods of being obsessed with Tobuscus. We could... Asterisk has donated Asterisk $15. Oh, I'm sure both of us could probably sing every single literal trailer and song parody and original song he's made from memory. Uh, we yes, both, of you wouldn't want me to. Uh, you wouldn't want me to sing. <laughs> Ethan, Ethan, you know this, so join in as you figure out what's going on. Intro of darkness, then redness, no, then no, 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 I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this shit on video. You cannot <laughs> yeah, force yeah, me. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> no, no, no. We, we should get to uh, explaining the background of Tobuscus for those who don't know. So okay, go ahead. I leave that? Yeah, you, you okay, go okay. ahead. So way back at the beginning of Minecraft and that kind of era of YouTube in which personality streamers were becoming more popular and people were selling themselves as a brand rather than useful content or entertaining content that wasn't attached to themselves, uh, came the rise uh, of personality streamers PewDiePie, uh, Markiplier, and what we're talking about now, Tobuscus, that type of person. Um, and Tobuscus was who I, as a child, really latched onto. He would make very flashy animated uh, song parodies. He would play games that were relatable to children and whatnot, and that were very uh, uh, attractive uh, God, to, happy to, wheels. to people with shorter... Yeah, Happy Wheels, things like that. Attractive to people with shorter attention spans. And he hit the just the right formula for early YouTube to take off. And I, I mean, he fucking took off. In fact, he took off so much that he ended up in parties with mu much, much larger YouTubers, I believe. He even ended up uh, on the Annoying Orange show on Cartoon Network. Yes, he was He was on Cartoon Network. Uh, and, and this rise to notoriety did what it does to a lot of people like that. And he ended up showing his, uh, his, his wang to a bunch of people at a party. Uh, I believe he ended up forcing himself on a girl. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, so I the background, like more. the background as we understand it, is that uh, Philip DeFranco uh, talked about in two separate scenarios in uh, years apart, two the same story, in two Allegedly. different ways. Allegedly, in two different ways. <clears throat> the first story Philip DeFranco told was after the event happened. He said somebody that was at a Super Bowl party that he threw got on a table. And started showing his penis to random women at the party after getting upset when they would not accept his sexual advances. He said he would not name this person because this is before me too. And Philip DeFranco is kind of a spineless coward in, in my opinion. Oh, um, so true. And uh, uh, listen, I don't hate him, but like seriously, he could he could do to stop being so fucking fence sittery on these things like holy that's, shit that's like of course of course like on any and on anything that's like up obviously bad he'll say it's bad but then he'll be like oh yeah dave Chappelle went on stage and talked about how trans women aren't women and uh we should, jump, we should jump back on what do you guys that? think of this i don't know I, anyway so philip defranco talked about how um at a you know he wasn't gonna name this creator but he talked about what this creator did and it was really disgusting a couple years later the phil the um the allegations we'll get into momentarily came out against Philip, uh, against Tobuscus, and all he said was that he won't say what Tobuscus did, but Tobuscus did something very inappropriate at a party that he threw um, a long time ago. Obviously, forgetting this uh, previous story that he told, people were able to like, you know, stitch the two things together and figure out Tobuscus had been coming on to women at, at Philip DeFranco's Super Bowl party, which he was confirmed to be at was getting turned down by women and in response pulling out his penis and Louis CKing these women essentially at a I, I party. believe there was also the the facet that uh during this time not that this excuses more so that it explains his erratic behavior he was on drugs uh, yeah, uh pretty cocaine severely mostly, pretty... yeah cocaine and Adderall I think was his main thing yeah severe drug addiction yes. yeah it yes. explains let's just say he was on uppers and explains his attitude in his videos Yes. Um, and, and you better and so, believe your boy's trying to get um, on that Adderall. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. A bit of commentary I want to add after that. So Tobuscus, right? He's this guy who was canceled during the Me Too movement, and he saw himself as a victim despite not really being one. Uh, and so what do those types of people do? They flock to their protectors. They're defenders of sexual pest, uh, conservatives. 
Uh, and that's where he is now. He's gone down the, like, Sky Does Minecraft rabbit hole, the, the Sunday rabbit hole of, like, making schizophrenic fucking, like, Christianity content for children. Things like that. And, and at first you may be able to look at this and think, oh, that's kind of funny. This guy's fucking losing it in public. The issue is, let's say that I was, like, younger and I had found his content and I was still following it as a younger child. I would be so impressionable as to probably take on the beliefs of my idol. And so I think there is a, a rather loud conversation to be had about these people who rise to fame, go fucking insane, and then start trying to indoctrinate children uh, and their, their place on the platform. But that's basically where he is now. Leading us to, um, well, do you want to tell them what the, the title of the latest video is? So, yeah, as Ethan said, Tobuscus is now mostly and pretty much exclusively uploading on his second channel, Toby Turner, one of his many alternative channels. And uh, it's mostly weird shit about Christianity, cancel culture, yada yada. He'd been accused, and quite credibly so, of raping an ex-girlfriend. Um, his story changed several times. Uh, if you don't believe Amber Heard, then you certainly shouldn't believe Tobuscus. Let's just say that's how uh, how strong... Uh, his lies and his side of the story are. His excuse for why his story changed was that his publicist told him to lie in, at, in the beginning, but his publicist apparently had told him to tell a worse lie because the lie he told initially was that he did date the girl and that um, uh, uh, and that they only did consensual stuff. And then later on, he said he'd never met her, never knew her, and they'd never even spent any time together in, 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 their, in his life. And he then used the excuse of, my publicist told me to say that we'd been dating and had a consensual relationship, which makes mm -hmm. no fucking sense. Why would your PR manager, or not his publicist, sorry, his PR manager guy, why would your fucking PR manager tell you to say, to a agree that you actually know and had a consensual relationship with the lady who's supposedly making up the fact that you were in a relationship entirely and is now claiming that you raped her. It makes no sense. The guy absolutely did it. He lost his career because of it. His, his shit all crumbled to the ground. He's now pulling like 4,000 views a video or some shit like that. Like, my worst videos are now getting the viewership of his best videos on average. Like, that's where Which he's at right now. It's insane to think about. Yeah, I have 71,000 subs, and Tobuscus has, across all of his all of his channels, close to 10 million, I'd guess. Um, so, yeah, pretty wild to think that I'm pulling more views than this guy now. Um, anyway, mm -hmm. I guess the Rittenhouse thing probably threw changed that, but previous, he was not pulling oh, numbers. Oh, my God. Um, so, so, so <clears throat> anyway... Uh, lead, leading uh, before we actually get to the title of the video, I think there's a similar situation that's happened in terms of um, people who put themselves in a position in which they have to find those who will defend them and end up aligning with conservatives. Oh, apparently so he was this... accused by two ex-girlfriends. Sorry, I thought that was a mistake on my end. Yes. Yeah, so so you have the uh, you have the backstory of Tobuscus and how he became kind of a sexual predator, not kind of, he became a sexual predator allegedly, uh, and he started doing a bunch of skeevy shit, and then he ended up aligning himself with conservatives, as we'll get into in a second. But another more recent, more hot topic is the discussion of Rittenhouse, where um, Zan, feel free to push back against me if you feel that I say anything you disagree with. Um, he should not have been there. Um, however, he was mostly justified in defending himself. He absolutely was looking for a fight. He claims that he was traumatized by it, but then goes on to fully try to market it, aligns himself with the conservatives because he's chasing fame. Did you see his video was... game? Did you see the video game yes, trailer? Yes, I, I was yeah. the one who showed it. Showed you it, yeah. Yeah. So, so you you have these two guys who had a big old scandal, and of course, what do you do when you have a big scandal? You align yourself with the biggest pieces of shit on earth, conservative talking men, and that's where they are now. And so their paths have crossed, and. Um, that's how we got to the video we're going to be watching today, which is uh, uh, Tobuscus meeting Kyle Rittenhouse. I actually haven't watched it yet. Yep, Pretty neither excited. have I. I never pre-watch videos before I cover them on stream, so this is my first time watching it. I've only seen the title, the memes, the clips on Twitter a little bit, but uh, this is my first time watching it. It is 12 minutes and 57 seconds long. We're going to try not to pause it too much. In fact, I'm going to speed it up just a little bit. Just so we're not, because yeah. uh, let's be real, this is not going to be well edited. I, I I don't believe it will be. <laughs> I feel like there's going to be a lot of dead air in this video, so let's just make it go by faster. Zan can raw dog whatever he wants. Yeah, I'm in a cream pie state. All right, let's uh, continue. Hello once again, audience. Uh, hope I didn't lose you yesterday. <clears throat> I'm so sad he doesn't do the intro of darkness, then redness, then whiteness anymore. Yeah. Because I posted a picture of uh, me being with this uh, fella by the name of Kyle Rittenhouse that my buddy was working with. And I really wanted to meet this kid. I was so excited. I wanted to meet him ever since I saw the, the whole video where he, uh, unfortunately... Bro, he looks sickly. 
like look at it. He's well, like got it's probably, sweat it's probably all around his action. eyes. Well, yeah, he's got like he, I don't know. He just doesn't look like he's doing well. You know, like even what the fuck is his beard? Yeah, well, it's not even that. It's it's more so like I feel like even when he there's just something about his vibe that doesn't. It feels like he's fucking having depressed. hung around having having hung around a lot of depressed tweakers in my life. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. Yeah, he has junkie face. I can see it. Yeah, he really took the lives of a couple convicted pedophiles, um, and he didn't go looking for that. So hold on, hold on. Hold I on. want to meet the. Who, wait, there was one guy who was a convicted pedophile. What? Okay, yeah. Regardless of of your opinions on that, who sees a video of someone having in in, in his his perspective or whatever doesn't matter. Not debating that here. Of having to kill someone. Who who sees a kid do that and think, I really want to fucking meet that guy. I want to meet that guy so fucking badly. Like, what? Holy shit. It's obsessive. And it's pathetic. Um, it's really creepy, too. I mean, I guess Kyle Rittenhouse is 18 now. But still, it is, like, in essence, to me, kind of weird. Um, yeah. I, listen, this is my position on the Rittenhouse thing. And this is, I think, pretty objectively a, a pretty good synopsis synopsis of what happened along with it. I think that Kyle Rittenhouse in the first shooting is probably pretty justified. The guy was chasing him and and you know had did get him pretty damn cornered and I can see a justification for that. Now, mm -hmm. the next shooting, now the next shooting is where things get interesting and complicated because after he shoots that guy, a bunch of people on the next street like around the corner who hear the gunshots and see him with the gun and are able to connect the dots this guy just shot someone seemingly i mean pretty reasonably under the assumption this guy is an active shooter begin going after him and trying to tackle him i think reasonably with the hope of preventing him from shooting anyone else and it is at this and moment think... when people there i think there was a guy coming at him with a skateboard too he definitely would have gotten uh, probably the guy beaten with the nearly to death. had a uh, i believe the guy with the skateboard had a gun uh, if i'm misremembering or if he, i'm remembering and there was a guy with a gun too yeah yeah regardless oh, okay. even if that wasn't even, even if that wasn't the case there was someone there with a gun there was mm -hmm. someone there with a skateboard there might uh, regardless if he mm -hmm. had allowed the crowd to get to him i think they would have beaten him at the very least nearly to death so from yes. his perspective i i can i can morally understand right like yeah he he, he was going to die a... And, and it was as a misunderstanding. Just... And they were also justified because they thought he was an active shooter. The problem yeah, here that... is, is that kid was, in my opinion, definitely there with his gun, hoping somebody would. And my biggest, mm -hmm. biggest problem is the fact that he has now become a conservative media demagogue who is now monetizing the shit out of this traumatic experience in the most shameless and disgusting ways possible. I, I'd give a, a full agreement with your assessment of that, actually. I don't have anything to add, unfortunately. Based. Cover all bases. Based. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking, yes. Yeah, sucky, sucky situation. I, also to add, please, please, if you if you are a leftist who wants to be looked at respectably, you need to concede some things on the Rittenhouse situation. Because there was justification for some of his actions. And if you try to act as if he's completely in the wrong, conservatives are going to somewhat rightfully point at you and say that you don't have an understanding of these yeah. situations and use it to discredit you and your movement in the future. It's okay for thing. Well, it's not okay. It is okay to admit when things go wrong in a way that is beneficial for others, uh, uh, others on the other side of the political spectrum without someone being at fault. If it, I, I don't know how to word this. Let's not fuck up these optics, please. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. I apologize. Cut out any of my rambling if it made no sense. I'm so sorry. Based. All right, God. Back to the video. True. That. They attack him first. It's not like he's like a pedophile hunter. People should stop praising him for hunting pedophiles. He didn't even know. He didn't even know they were pedophiles. He probably thought they were black. No, he, uh, he knew they were black. Wh what? And, uh, the you know, fuck? they were, uh, you know, they were maybe burning down the city and there was no police. And this kid in this age where we were raised on video games goes out there. He's like, you know what? I'm going to go on a mission and I'm going to help people. Better than the better than the alternative. I'm gonna go on a mission and I'm gonna loot Walmart and then I'm gonna burn it down and then I'm gonna burn hey, down the buddy and then I'm gonna beat up an old lady and then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna and then and then I'm gonna. Oh my God, his weird like like quirky humor thing that he would do oh. in his Happy Wheels videos comes off no. as so unhinged when he brings it over to his fucking no. conservative car rants. Oh my God, 
<laughs> Dude, this isn't fucking real. Okay, this is, wait. Did what just, timeline did, just, did we rip into, Ethan? Ethan, I, I, we believe, were... I believe he just said. I believe he just said hunting people is preferable to burning down a Walmart. Ethan, what year do you think we diverged off the main timeline? Uh, 2015, late 2015, early 2016. That is when things changed. I think we that's, made the wrong I think choice. We were locked I, into bad I, ending. No, I, I think we, we, you know, like in Loki, how there's like the alternate universes whenever there's like a, any choice, like there's variant universes. I think we split yeah. off into a very negative variant universe from the main timeline. This, this is the universe that the, the, the good guys of, of the main one come into and say, holy fuck, and leave. <laughs> holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> this ain't real, dog. This, this is the timeline. This is like the the hell world timeline that the characters go to for one episode and make it out and they're like, God, that place was awful. Maybe they like throw the villain there and banish him there to never be seen again. <laughs> God. Like, how funny is it that we love we like we I mean America. No, it, it, that was right. That that's it. The convert the, the divergence event was Harambe. That was the yeah. moment. That was the moment that did it. When that child fell in that fucking gorilla enclosure, there were two timelines that could have happened that day. And that was the moment that caused the timeline to diverge and split. And we were on I, the wrong I, side I, of it. I cannot wait to be an old fuck. I'm going to sit in front of my kids and they're like, Dad, why did the world go to... Or, or Granddad, why did the world go to shit? And I have to say some shit like, Well, it all started with this gorilla. And uh, <laughs> go from there. <laughs> This is gonna suck, man. <laughs> I hope that Harambe. I hope Harambe ends up in a mainstream curriculum for children going forward as like cancel an example culture, of culture. culture will be in history books, Ethan. Oh my God! There is We're no gonna... way that a Twitch debate does not end up in a history book somewhere. Oh my God! We're gonna hear about a YouTuber in a history book. This is fucking surreal. The day that nah. uh, fuck me. Nah. No, fuck this. Because the internet age doesn't seem as relevant to human history right now as it will in hindsight. That's the thing you have to remember. Like, like historians are going to look back on this age of the internet as, like, being fucking insane. And the like, fact this that was so much of his... communication came out, and, and it completely is... shaped politics, culture, everything, consumerism. Oh, fuck. <laughs> There's going to be documentaries about the... It's going to be called, like, the dark age of the internet or something. Is, is going to be what like, they're going to be called, like, like, 50 years from now. Like, like the growing pains of mass communication and it's going to be a four hour fucking documentary about 4chan yeah like about how mass communication and the internet nearly destroyed the fucking world through the mass they literally predicted i run i hate doing this but metal gear solid 2 predicted this there was no, shut um, up there was the video no 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 all right, all right no all right. you're gonna, be, you're gonna like, if you like, get on metal gear it'll be an hour but when it comes to like police officers they're like they're not heroes that's their job like, i mean doing any heroic things protecting you maybe nobody likes police officers right uh, except for RoboCop, he's very, very cool. Uh, Judge Dredd, he's pretty sweet. Anyways, but the real life ones, pff, nobody likes those. Okay, they're, you know, they're, they're great. But, you know, there's some bad ones, whatever. But that's just, uh, that's how it is. People, some people suck. And then you, you fire those people and, uh, get the better ones. And then you fund the, the, the make the people better. You want to fund them. You don't want to defund them. Uh, so, but it's, it's just funny that we don't, for some reason, somehow people stop. It, is this guy in favor of body cams and, and... Wait, I firing police officers because like is he actually like because i have a feeling that he was not in favor of firing Derek chauvin or yeah i'm so, pretty sure he he probably is I, I bet he said fentanyl floyd before in one of his videos i'm sure he has to to, to get back onto uh like 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 examining what his situation actually means on a, a, a macro scale it's very interesting how conservatives will, will co-opt ignorant yet very like like people with a lot of publicity who are rather ignorant, such as Tabuscus and whatnot, and use them as, as faces because they're faces that people already are attracted to. They are faces that benefit being associated with them, and they are faces that can uh, pretty convincingly say that they believe they're doing the right thing because they don't actually have an understanding of what they're doing. Um, well, they're useful idiots, basically. And I think it's interesting to see how how greatly they've been weaponized to see it come down to things like children's YouTubers interacting with uh, uh, like social martyrs such as uh, Kyle Rittenhouse. It, it's an effective tactic, to say the least. It is. It really is fucking nuts out here. Stop looking at it as like the guy that you call to help you, to save you from crazy criminals with blue hair or whatever. What? Nah, blue hair's... Nah. What do the blue hair people do? They just scream. They just... uh. <laughs> they just right i don't know if they're actually violent i'm totally i have no idea what I'm i love blue hair by the way it's cool 
And I love hair dye and all that. It's, it's awesome. But uh, <laughs> people with blue hair are crazy. But uh, no. Um, <clears throat> what was I talking about? We love Batman. You know, we love this hero. He it's like you're, it's like he's trying to do a Happy Wheels video talking about politics. Blue hair and hey, pronoun. You... True. Did did. Did you know that if he throws Timmy at the right angle, he won't get Justin Bieber tier? It's going to be great, all right? Just wait. He's going to do it on stream. I swear. It's real. Dude, those fucking knife that. throw Happy Wheels levels. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. Holy shit. Those were the most. That was, those, were, those were peak. Like, the good ones were peak. He goes out. The city's burning down. Gotham's burning. And he puts himself right in the line of danger, right? We teach our kids to do that by making those movies. And you blame Kyle, a child. For going out when he was asked by his friend's family because they had a business they, uh, someone burned and shot up their other uh, location or something the day before a couple days before this is the last thing they had they had nothing left they were like could you maybe i don't know defend it or something like you know you're a you're like a trained what was he a medic boy scout freaking this like a baby this is like this guy was training for this moment he's like i'm gonna help people that's you know believe that or not but you know <clears throat> they asked him to defend it he comes up there puts out a fire a literal dumpster fire puts out a fire in a dumpster that a bunch of uh riddler you know from batman like gas lit psychopaths burned uh set fire to this dumpster what, what is this the, the weird meat? attempt to make this guy into a fucking hero? You can't have that this is a traumatic event and children shouldn't be forced to defend their country or whatever the fuck they try to argue. And then also do the, the, uh, like, the whole he's a hero, let's make him into a, a fucking hero thing. It's so bizarre. I mean, obviously, Kyle Rittenhouse loves it. He's making shit tons of money off this. And to be fair, is. Probably not going to have much of a uh, chance of getting a job anywhere else besides this shit. Did Tobuscus just blame video uh, violence on video games? Yes, he did. He did He did make a reference to that. Uh, Tobuscus has lost it, all right? He, he went full right wing and did the whole anti-cancel culture thing because he got outed as a rapist. Remember, guys, the guy we were watching here is a confirmed rapist and has been outed for sticking his dick out and waving at random women at a party thrown by a large YouTuber. All right, this guy is a massive piece of shit. There's not really much of a need to debunk any right-wing talking points when he's insane. How cool would a Tobuscus debate be, though? Holy shit. Imagine if I debated Tobuscus. I, I, I don't even know if that would be watchable. I, this guy's barely sentient in, his, in, a, in, a, in like a solo conversation. None of what he's saying makes any fucking sense. I'm not sure if he could handle, like... You know, you know the shit you learn as a child, like A B conversation, like that might blow this man away because it doesn't involve cocaine or or, or non consenting women. I feel like I could give his channel a boost, maybe. You know, he might think it's like you know <laughs> it's beneficial to him. I don't know. You know, holy fuck. You heard it. You heard it here first. Xander loves uh, uh, platforming, platforming Nazis. Right true. Yes. True. So I love real. platforming Nazis. Let's fucking go. Let's platform some Nazis, bro. Let's go. Oh, sir, to push it into a gas station to blow it up. You weren't there. I wasn't there. It's hard to understand. You have to imagine that's happening down your street. That's not safe. That's especially when they're all screaming about getting rid of the police because they think that they're racist. And you're like, most of the people that they protect are minorities. And in a lot of the areas, a lot of specifically like Chicago, a lot, a lot of these cities, it's mostly minority police officers. I, I no love way. the I love the <laughs> idea of yes. Uh, I we understand that the data overwhelmingly uh, represents, and basically all criminologists and everybody who is an expert in this field agrees that there is a massive disproportionate racial bias against uh, POC people when it comes to police and the entire criminal justice system. But hey, uh, those neighborhoods that police are over patrolling uh, that are majority black, well, guess what? What they're actually doing is protecting those neighborhoods, not over patrolling them, which is literally what's agreed upon by most sociologists and criminologists who know about this subject. I know, I'm, a, I'm an artist when it comes to pausing uh, on people's faces. I love pausing on people's faces. Do you like pausing on people's faces, Ethan? Uh, yes, of course. Do you, do you I ever, actually do like you doing ever, many other things Do you like unloading, faces, do you ever, do you, do you like unloading a fat, <laughs> was, do you like yeah, unloading, this is going. do you like unloading a fat pause in a, on a dude's face? Don't, don't get too excited. When I come over to fucking LA, we're just hanging out, all right? Don't get any ideas. You've been weird about it lately. Wait, do you know? Do you know what the the joke I was making there is? It's pretty. It's pretty. No, edgy. no, Alex, I'm fucking retarded. Well, and yeah, I have you, no idea what well, you're saying. No, hold on. Do you know what pause loading is? What is? Is that where you pinch the tip of your dick? No. And you let it build up. What is pause it? Pause loading is when you go out with being knowingly HIV positive and intentionally try to get people infected with it. Oh my god, do you know about bug chasing? That's, and bug chasing is basically the opposite of that, yeah.
No, no, no. We get. We're gonna get stuck on this. We can't. We gotta yeah, go so, back to the. Video. So the the joke was that yeah. So now you, you thought it was just a cum joke. I was talking about a uh, HIV positive cum joke. So thank you. God. And you still you see these blue haired crazy people screaming at black police officers, calling them racist. So that's this is the age we live in. Where dude, I I do love when conservatives are the first ones to jump to uh, identity politics. <clears throat> They love pointing out people's race. They're the first ones to do so. Uh, they'll claim that, like, the left is obsessed with race and identity, and, like, someone on the left will criticize a black person they disagree with because of the opinions they hold, and then a conservative will come along and be like, oh, you disagree with a black person? Hmm. Pretty racist of you. Hmm. As a white person? It's like, bro, and then the next thing they'll do is say, the left is so obsessed with identity and race. It's like, God. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, people really hate uh, hated uh, Kyle for uh, being attacked because he went out there with a gigantic weapon. You know, that's, I wouldn't have done that. Um, but I wouldn't run into a burning building either. I mean, as a job. I mean, I, you know, I don't know. I've never been put in this situation. Ah, uh, yes. Kyle you. Rittenhouse basically ran into a burning building. Uh, what, a, what a hero. We don't know how we would ask. But we have been raised that uh, we've been taught that heroes are a good thing. But the media says, oh, there's no such thing. There's no such thing as heroes. They're just doing their job. They don't care about you. Maybe. Maybe they like the power trip. But you want police officers to be power. Dude, this is literally, like, pulled straight out of, the, like, The Boys Season 3. Chat, hypers, if you've seen any of Season 3 of The Boys, this sounds like some propaganda video that they would make as a joke about, like, the liberal media saying there are no more real superheroes in the world. This is an AI-generated video. It's like the Dolly shit. Show Tabuscus going on a Facebook rant. And, and this was generated. This isn't fucking real. This is insane. I <laughs> yeah, like I feel like you know how people see like crazy shit that's kind of like black pilling happening with technology, and they're like, "This is literally a Black Mirror episode." When I see black pilling shit happen in politics, for me, it's always like, "This is literally in an episode of The Boys." <laughs> the Boys yeah. politics stuff is pretty well, damn good. You'll like dude, it. Once I'm back from Germany and I have a lot more free time, uh, that's gonna be a while from now, like three weeks from now. Once I'm back from Germany, we gotta catch up on our shows. But we are recording a segment. I don't want to fuck over Cherry. Let's play the video. All right, let's go. Powerful, and you want him to be competent and confident and respected. He's become and Blue Hawk, yes. Respect is something you have to earn, and if you lose it, goodbye. Uh, so, and it's, you know, it's hard. It takes a long time, and this is the, where it begins, is you instill values of a person that you respect in other people, in kids, you know? And kids are the most important people uh, because they are the future, and if we don't want the future to suck, they got to make the kids not suck. Uh, and that's why I... So this is one of my favorite things. Ethan, uh, do, would you agree that the conservatives like to make arguments a lot about how the left is trying to indoctrinate kids? Have you seen a lot um, of that? Yeah, oh, of course I've seen a lot of that. You'd have to be fucking politically illiterate to not have noticed it. Uh, Isn't it yeah, funny so to you that, like, at the same time, conservatives will say shit like, we've got to get to them while they're young? Like, they literally want to indoctrinate kids, too. Of course they do. So, Everybody so wants kids to be raised believing what they believe is correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, um, conservatives are interesting because uh, I, I believe you've heard the term every conservative accusation is a conservative confession. Um, confession and that's yeah. actually a, it's, a, it's a very effective social strategy, because if you have made an effort to try to prove that another group is guilty of something, you have grand grounds to deny accusations of you doing the same thing, claiming that you have gone after others of your kin, basically. Yes. This is why you see like pedophile hunters who end up being pedophiles, because they want to uh, they, they can essentially turn back and say, how could I possibly be like that if I dedicate all my time and energy to taking care of them? Things like that. Yeah, or the, the EDP politicians. Yeah, <laughs> the EDP guy um ended up like having clips of him like in a store talking about like. Oh, by the way, the EDP guy lives five minutes from my house. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit! Well, way to dox yourself. Um, yeah. But um, anyway, so basically, I think he ended up having some weird pedo shit. That was that was odd as well. So yeah, you're kind of right about that. Oh, God, is he still in his car? Holy shit, when's he actually go to meet him? Wait, he doesn't even meet him in this video. Does he not? Oh, my God, wait, does he not even go to meet him in this? Oh, wait, hold on. I, I, let me check his other video that he made where it's There's him and Kyle way. Rittenhouse sitting, standing together. Hello, once again. Okay, this one's him also in his car. Does he actually end up talking what to Kyle? What is that fucking sociopathic title? What he... is that title? Look at the title of this video. Wait, he, he didn't. He's not. He didn't even actually like put any of his talking with Kyle or being with Kyle Rittenhouse in the videos. 
What he, the he, fuck? I, I saw a photo of him with Kyle, right? Yeah, yeah, there's like, photos like of him with Kyle him. and stuff. It's all him in his car. What the look fuck? At this, bro, can, look at this viewership, dude. 1.6k views 10 hours ago, 10k views one day ago, 3.1k views two days ago, 56k views meeting Kyle Rittenhouse three days ago, 6.2k views love God and shit four days ago, 9.9k, like this is worse than my viewership by far, holy fuck, and this what? guy's got 1.8 million subs in this channel alone. Wait, 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 this wait. Is his can you go to the channel. videos tab? I want to see all the, all the uploads, go to the videos tab. What the fuck is this guy, what the fuck is this? What a He just goes on like Sure. This guy, this guy goes on fucking manic rants and, and just posts it while he drives. Bro, he's in his like his, his Onision arc. Yeah, no, that's exactly what this is. The Great Pyramids Yon. What the fuck? Wait, I need to see this. No Ethan. way. It, no, Ethan, <laughs> yes, watch Ethan. It. Watch it. I need to see his oh, takes on the Great Pyramids. Oh, he's recording while driving. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did a thing. <laughs> Twice, went to the gym in the morning. <laughs> yeah, went to the gym in the right at the afternoon. Yeah. Oh, he's in Phoenix. Man, Those are saguaros. That, I was like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go play some basketball because I watched Professor Live and I was like, look at this little twerp. So I got to the freaking basketball court and I'm like, hey, I challenge you all to a game to the death. They're like, oh, well, we don't do that, but we play basketball. I was like, ah, fine. We play basketball and uh, me and my buddy, <clears throat> we play some basketball. I hope I didn't just dox Tobuscus because, like, I'm sorry, but I'll rec I can recognize that forest of saguaro cactuses around Phoenix, uh, uh, Phoenix, Arizona any day. Um, you know, knowing his current behavior, I doubt this is even where he lives. He's probably driving on a fucking 40-hour coke high across the country. Holy bro, shit. Uh, to be fair, if I had his money, I would be driving around the country on 40-hour coke highs. Thank I you. I never said it was a bad thing. You're very welcome. It was hot. <laughs> Thank you. My mom gave me a cinnamon bun. Also, I, I apologize if I talk fast for stream. That's just, ugh. Sorry. Chat <laughs> loves it. They don't mind. <laughs> And we lost. Compared. It was, uh, was 7-1 to one for a little bit. It was actually, okay, it was only 2-1-2. Two two. Sometimes we do 5-on-5. Five five. Um, it was 2-1-2. 7-1 two two. for a while. Then my buddy started scoring, and I would start I'd start shooting. I don't want to make it too easy for us. So I try not to get it in the basket. I just, you know, let him know that uh, I know where the hoop is. So I throw it towards the hoop, and it bounces out like I planned. And, uh, yeah, we ended up, I think it ended up being 22. No way. Freaking 17 or 18. Welcome to Capital. I make two of those shots. You know, I was what is he talking about? Void, asterisk, got a tier one asterisk I, you know, I was expecting to go into this think, uh, talking a little bit about this guy's mental health and whatnot, but more so talking about his delve into the far right. No, this guy needs to go to like a rehab facility. This is fucking bad, bro. What is going on with him? What a goggled fuck? mustachio. Wait, 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 wait. Let's not sympathize with the sex pest a little too much, though. Yeah, but yeah, it's still yeah. sad to see. Let's let's watch this one. Oh my god. Yes. Got anything in my teeth? Because I take some eggs benedict. I might have some eggs benedict in my mouth. Can you look? If I'm, we're good. <laughs> I just take up all the paper except for this. And then, clear. Because there's a kid. I saw this kid. He's uh, probably oh, fuck. Um, And uh, he started to grow his mustache. And uh, he, he comes over and he's like, my girlfriend doesn't like this. So what do you please, think? I was like, please, and I, you know, please. Kind of it. I was like, that's the best way to handle it. I'll just show up. And then uh, now there's going to be two of them. We're going to start a trend. We're going to start a trend in the old West to have mustaches. Man, people are going to be real surprised to see people in the West with mustaches. It's not really that big of a surprise. It's a, kind of a little thing before already. But I got to wear a hat, too. Either uh, either a drill sergeant hat or uh, like a Western hat. Like a Western hat. Uh, like a Western hat. I do respect him for uh, fully embracing the <laughs> rapist it, look. Whatever the fuck I'm experiencing is very similar to radiation exposure. What the fuck is this content? No, listen, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He's, he's given... He's given the red flag Welcome on to his own face, dude. so I can respect it. Asterisk At least now, turkey asterisk has donated some women are more likely to be like, oh, it's not talking to that during, guy. During a Tobuscus Happy Wheels video, he was killed by a Wendigo, and this is not him. This is a Wendigo. This isn't a real fucking human being. <laughs> Should we finish the this segment fuck? by watching an old Tobuscus Happy Wheels video for, for a palate cleanser? <laughs> There's nothing else to talk about with this guy. He's just insane now, and he didn't even make a video with fucking Kyle. He just... Oh my but, god. Can, can, we, can we find, actually, his most recent Happy Wheels video? I want to see what, what it's like now. Yeah, 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 Happy yeah. Wheels in the, in the desolate year of, like, 2019 or some shit. I think seeing him, him in his natural, unedited habitat will be more interesting. I'm covering him up. Delete forever.
This is like right after you came back from the accusations too. Hour later. Is it? Yeah. Visibility private. You should fast forward a bit that, once he's actually started. Someone when does he play it? Kind of acting stuff, which I just don't. Here maybe. Games here we go. Here we go. Never be made. Don't you think? What? That sounds horrible. Why is it making that sound? This is surreal. Dude, I don't trust this. <clears throat> hey, everyone, recently, dude, you already said all this. Okay. It just doesn't feel the dude, same. This audio sound. This is soulless. Oh, my mic is cracking. Hold on. Balls? What was oh, that pause? Odd. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I don't know, Sabe. <laughs> what the fuck? He's com <laughs> he was replaced with the homunculus. This is a different man. A skinwalker has taken his <laughs> taken this, his form. This is this is very clearly not him. The real Tabuscus would be playing this game fine. The Skinwalker can't figure out the controls. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. Good. There's an imposter now? among us. Kraken or good? This man's been eating balls, too much balls, fluoride. Balls. Kraken? Okay. There's no sound now, but it should be good now. <clears throat> Anyways. Should be good now, right? I, I hope the skinwalker don't mention them you fuckhead i live in new mexico asshole you're good now, right? yeah i hope those skinwalkers seed your fucking home tonight hold on wait wait, wait wait skinwalker 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 there skinwalker we go. skinwalker it should be good it should be good now it should be good now right it should be good now it's good now is it good now it's good it's good now why why can't one of these guys get addicted to roids or something so they look really funny after right their downfall now, Synthol's better if you're trying to make them look funny. Should be it good. <laughs> you know what? Oh, look, you, up synthol. look up Synthol. Look up Synthol disaster on, on yeah, like Google Images. Let me look Lord, that's terrible. Oh, the oh, oil? Yeah, I know Lord. about this. It's horrible. Oh, guys. Oh, you're not on the thing. Look at all these chat people. Let's put the chat. Does he it's actually ever fast. play the game? How do I uh, make it to hey, the Hey, see that part that's the most replayed right ahead? Get any of the game. Momentarily, it seems he does. Okay, <clears throat> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wall a Minecraft this one. This little glass axe. <laughs> Nobody ever died from a glass axe. So, oh no! It feels so emulated. Oh, I'm aware that his original character that was, was fake, right? Backwards. But hey, reminder, this, is, this reminder, because Cup Poker Stick guy is on stream. Uber hacks or Nova over Tobuscus any day. His Happy this Wheels is... videos were infinitely better. And he was the this voice of the fucking stick guy. Oh, I gotta play, uh... Goose. Huh, by the way, I'm just hangling around, just checking out that bottom. Oh, no. Please. Some please, fucking horrible creature ate action, this guy's brain and is trying to pretend to be him. Please, what Lord, the hell? Please don't do what I think you're going to do. What do you mean? How would you know before I know? Uh, oh, uh, you're not going to hit me in the kneecaps, are you? No, no, no. Okay, thank God. I thought you were going to hit me in the kneecaps. No, no, no. Something else. Something... Oh, oh, ah, ah, Is that at least similar ah, to what I remember? My wrist! My arm! Oh, There's my... just a lack of energy to it, if that makes any sense. <laughs> He's holding back right. tears. Okay. Bro, th nah, this is fucking sad. Yeah, so it. am I, though, but for different reasons. I miss Terraria, too. Ha! You thought you mostly, would fondle my bollocks and mostly I'm just away from crying you, for the you? death of my childhood. Uh, ah, oh, 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 two can play that game. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Not so funny now. Whoa! This is just bad. I think we've seen enough, Ethan. It's so weird watching this. There's no fucking substance to it, but there's a lot to be not said, if that makes any sense. It's just it, something you fucking stare at with your jaw gape and think, wow, how did this happen? It's just schizo ramblings. There's not really much else that you can describe it as other than schizo ramblings. There's no arguments there, wow. really.
It's it's just him like dick riding Kyle Rittenhouse and claiming he met him, though he clearly did, but for some reason not recording it. Wait, I don't know. So what bizarre. what what what's chat mean by the woe? Did he say woe or did I say woe or did you? I don't know. What the mm. fuck? This is like when Lord of Cinder from Dark Souls One, where you can see something once great there, uh, grunts great there, but it is just gone. Oh, Ethan One isn't day, ready. Alex... Ethan, you are not ready for the crushing atmosphere of Dark Souls One. It, it is I a can't game. Wait to play it. it is a game that that the setting, characters, everything about it is meant to make you feel like shit along with it crushing you in difficulty everyone like along the way is like <laughs> you're gonna fucking die you dumb fuck give up and just what? go hollow this is just ugh, i don't like I it know. this sucks it, it's like you ever have like a, a a family member die and then whenever you walk into a room in your house that you have a lot of memories with of that family member it starts to make you feel depressed Really, really Has quickly, ever... someone asked, are, you sh are, are, are we sure the photo with uh, him, him and Rittenhouse wasn't Photoshopped? Firstly, uh, I believe Rittenhouse posted, and secondly, mm. look me in the eyes and tell me that current Tobuscus can Photoshop anything convincingly, much less do whatever the fuck he is doing now. There's, there's yeah. no way. Yeah, he's, uh, he's gone down the full, full schizo rant. He is fucking lost it and it is just a shame i remember the days where i'd be fucking sitting on my computer 11 12 years old middle school came home on a friday night and you better believe the first thing i did would i listen to while i booted up minecraft and got my world going or hopped on us on some tech at classic server was do you like my sword 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 my diamond sword my diamond sword you cannot afford for my diamond sword sword because it is expensive and i have a patent that, that, no, I that can't be loud. I can't actually, be loud. Yeah. That, that song as a child <clears throat> made me learn about the copyright system because I had no, I know, no yeah. fucking idea what a patent was. I googled what is a patent. Yes. I also learned that cashews come from a fruit from Tabuscus. <laughs> God. Wow. I, I was hoping there would be more energy or jokes to make about this, but it's just. Wow, holy fuck, I'm watching someone slowly kill themselves while, like. It's like watching a corpse decay in time lapse. Wow. Actually, it's like watching uh, a corpse decay in slow motion. And, and I don't even really feel that bad for Like, I do to an extent, but I don't feel that bad to him because he's a fucking predator. So it's like... It's... It, uh. The presso espresso. Anyway, though, uh, if you enjoyed this... Se Actually, Ethan, do you want to do my outro for me? Yeah, sure. If you enjoyed this section, make sure that your segment... Fuck! I'm great at this. If you enjoyed the segment, make sure that you like the video so it boosts in the algorithm. Comment your favorite spot or really just dummy text to boost it. Doesn't matter. Just comment. It helps, I swear. Subscribe to Xander. If my link's in the description when this gets posted, Dank Corpse would love your uh, patronage. But um, I hope you all had a wonderful day. I hope that those of you who had this as a childhood idol don't feel too harmed by it. But uh, welcome to... Um, uh, 2022 your childhood idols are all predators racist or uh dead so it, it's pretty great out here i hope I you all have that. a wonderful day i love that that's been all your childhood uh heroes are all either racist predators or dead <laughs> i hate it bye. i hate it here i hate it here <laughs> well bye everybody if you enjoyed this video have a good one thank you so much or regardless of whether or not you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching have a good one i'll see you all next time